For today's quiz, I've got this large Van de Graaff generator. I also have this gas tube. It's a mercury tube. We simply want to know if the Van de Graaff generator has charges on it, and we wanted to illuminate this gas bulb, what configuration should we use? Should we have it far away, close, or should we have it in this configuration, far or close? This is what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold it up right now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses are exactly what you would expect. Most will say as long as the bulb is close to the Van de Graaff, it doesn't matter the configuration, it's going to light up. And if it's far away from the Van de Graaff generation, again, it doesn't matter the configuration, it's probably not going to light up. Those are the typical student responses that we get. To help us see when the bulb is illuminating, we're going to take this down to a storage closet and we can control how dark it is. We'll leave the door open a little bit just so we can see the general outline. I think this will work well. All right, I'm down in the storage room here. It's much darker than I thought. I had to crack the door just so the camera could find me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the Van de Graaff on for a few seconds, let it build up charge, and then I'll take the bulb in this configuration from far and then closer to the dome, and then I'll come in radially from far and then closer. All right, let me turn this on. Probably hear it uh, start to build up charge. Oh, yeah, it's starting to arc already. Oh, boy, I need to be careful here. Oh, it's starting to arc. So I'm going to take the bulb from far out here, and I'm going to go in closer, and you could see not much is happening. But if I come in radially, you'll see right away I start to get some illumination, and the closer that I get, the more illumination I get. Pretty cool. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Okay, we're back into the light and out of the darkness. Uh, that was neat, so let's help explain what's going on here. I've already made a Van de Graaff generator up on the whiteboard, and that's that big dome. We also know that a Van de Graaff generator will build up charges and electric field lines will radiate in all directions, going out trying to find ground. I traced the gas tube here and here. Let's just take the case where the gas tube is parallel or perpendicular to the field lines. We also know that voltage is really what's going to cause currents to flow. And a current going through here is just charges in motion and we need to liberate an electron or something like that. We also know that voltage is equal to our electric field times our distance. So let's just put that as a starting equation. Our voltage equals our electric field times some distance. What we're really talking about here is we want a voltage difference. And the way that we get a voltage difference is to change our distance. So over here, notice that we've got a massive change in uh, distance between the one side in the tube and the other. And of course, the electric field is going to be a gradient as it goes out. But we can say our change in voltage here is large because it's proportional to our change in our distance, which is also large. Here, notice the radial line hitting the glass on the one side versus the other. That is a very, very, very small distance. So we could do the same thing here. We could say, a small expected change in voltage is proportional to that very small change in distance. Not quite sufficient for illuminating that gas. Remember, you need a certain distance for these electrons to go fast enough so they can strike into others, cause those electrons to go to a higher energy level, come back off uh, or come back down and release uh, a photon of energy. So uh, in this case, we definitely are going to end up having uh, parallel with our radial electric field lines. So on our original quiz, we would end up saying uh, the radial line and the closer you are to the dome, the stronger the electric field. So we'd put them in this order. One, two, three, and then four. All right. That's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. 
If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.